potential tropical cyclone at 9. Maximum sustained winds are at 45 miles an hour. It certainly has I'm taking the boat out of the water today. That was the plan anyway. <laughs> but that kind of stuff you deal with in Florida. Right, let's lift this anchor. It's been there for like a month. It's gonna look pretty nasty, I'm sure. Especially at this time of the year. I mean, stuff grows and it's crazy. So let's do this. Oh no, I think it's stuck. <sighs> stuck on something. Finally on the way. Took me an hour to remove that anchor. It was wrapped around a mast. So there was a sunken boat next to my anchor. And uh, you know, with the days, your boat spins around and stuff and it just wrapped around the mast, the mast of that boat. And there was a piece of sail in there. There were lines, shrouds. I took my, put my ladder and I went in at my diving mask. I went in, I tried to, so in the end, I started the engine and let some anchor road line out and I kind of did a circle and that unwrapped it and I was able to put my, pull my anchor. But uh, that was tough. Nice time to take the boat out of the water. So my day is not over, it's just starting. This is what it looks like, an F27 on the grass. So it's gonna stay here for probably the next few months till I come back. I really like the fact that I can have the F27 right here on the property. So it's gonna be on grass for the next few months until I come back. And uh, it's just nice to know that it's not in the water and it's pretty convenient. 
especially when you're gone for an extended period of time you can you can leave the boat uh, in a safe place and not worry about it and also it enables me to do work on it very easily so back there I have my shipping container house and uh, all my tools are in there I'll do a, a tour of it but you know I got all my tools right here and I got the computer so I can do my software engineering work and uh, all my sailing gear it was a month in the water and uh, the uh, bottom paint stopped being effective so there were a lot of barnacles and with warm water in Florida it, it's even worse so I had to scrape it bottom paint straight here on the trailer and I can just paint all these surfaces and uh, I can push the boat tilt it over paint under the bunks and then tilt it the other way paint some more and I can cover all the surfaces by myself. It takes half a day and uh, it's really not bad. So that's another advantage of the F27. You can do the bottom paint like straight on the trailer. Oh, I forgot to show you something. I've installed the dome and uh, I really hesitated before I did this because that required cutting the pop top here with the jigsaw. So I had to make a cir circular hole and then add the bubble. But uh, I think I think it's gonna be nice, especially in bad weather sailing. And uh, I can see what's going on in front, of course, and I can look at all my sails all around. So I think this is gonna be nice. If it turns out it was a big mistake, which could be the case, then I'll put back the plate that I cut and I'll fiberglass this thing. So I know I can revert this if I don't like it. And from the inside, it's a bit dirty inside, but I'll do some cleanup later. That's what it looks like. That's the view I get. So I can really look completely on top of me and all around. So it's a three quarter of an inch of foam core. So this thing floats. The whole boat is like this. Really nice. Really well made. And this is like, it's like super light and super rigid. And that's what you want when you build a boat for sure.